guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is the day that you're seeing this. It's Thursday, September, I think the 29th. I'm recording it on Wednesday just to save time. I've already said that multiple times, so if you watch my videos, you already know that. <laughs> but I got some happy more that I want to share with you guys. So first, I did get my Halloween swap that I'm doing with Jen. We did it last year, and then we talked on Instagram, and we decided to do it again this year. So I got it. I want to start a picture because I left it in there. It's a big box, <laughs> and I can't really open it right now because it's for October. <laughs> But I did put number one on the top so you could see it. And then it's, we, we swap in uh, scrap balls and then other little like things, you know, throughout the month randomly. So um, I already sent her my box and I, I made her some stuff that I was super excited about. I hope she likes it. But uh, I felt like, like it all went together and it was just cute. I don't, I'm not good at usually putting stuff together to make it look cute all together. And I was so proud of myself for what I sent her. But um Anyways, so I got that, and then she also sent me her card. She had to send it separately because she forgot to put it in the box, which is 100% something I would do. <laughs> I've actually done that before. <laughs> but um, anyways, it was just funny. So I got her card separate, but here's her card, my first Halloween card of the season. And it is so cute. I absolutely love it. And it came in an orange envelope, which made me super happy. I just I just love holidays. I don't know that. But, and then I got from Erica, I got a postcard. I sent her a Halloween card. Last week, I sent out a bunch of Halloween cards last week because I like to do stuff early. And uh, I can't even remember now who I'll send them to, but I sent out a whole bunch of them. <laughs> but um, this one is from Erica, and it is another really cute of the um, postcards. She sent me one that I got hanging in my living room, actually. <laughs> and um, this will probably go up there with it. And they're just really cute uh, cottage quarry type. You know, I just love stuff like that. I've always loved stuff like that. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it seems like stuff in the, like, 1800s, like, uh, Pride and prejudice and Sense and Sensibility, <laughs> Little Women. You know, I grew up watching those those shows, and uh, I just love anything that's that time frame. And it just makes me happy to see stuff like that. <laughs> but anyways, this is the one that she sent me. And it's called The Reading Woman 2, James Abbott, Abbott, oh, James Abbott McNeil Whistler. Whew, that's a mouthful of a name. <laughs> American, active in England, 1834-1903, reading by Lamplight, 1858, etching in dry point, printed in brown ink. It's at the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. Hmm. <laughs> and it was gifted to them by Melinda and James Rabb. Huh. <laughs> it's a lot of impression. That's a really pretty uh, drawing. I like it. A lot, so it's probably going to go up there. I like the stamp, too like a barn <laughs> it's cute but uh thank you so much erica for that and i love these postcards i was on amazon the other day looking at postcard sets and i found one that i really want to order and it's called um oh shoot <laughs> i think it's called flower fairies i'm trying to think of the artist's name i wrote it down i'll pop it up because i can't remember it off the top of my head i just found it i think it was yesterday so I can't remember their name, but I, f I found it randomly on Facebook, a picture, and I was like, that's such a cute picture. So I looked it up and it, uh, they had postcards of it. So I was like, I'm going to buy those, <laughs> but, uh, they're just really cute fairies of different, like, uh, plants and stuff. It's really cool. I can't remember the artist's name off the top of my head, but I wrote it down. It's on my phone. <laughs> but, and then this package I got from Knit Crate. I, uh, I don't buy Knit Crate because I'm an affiliate. They send it to me, but I still get like the reward points, uh, where you can use it in the shop to get discounts. So I had $11 worth of reward points. <laughs> so um, I was like, well, I'm just gonna buy it to use it to buy Doshins because I don't use their yarn. They have nice yarn. It's just, it's not my type of yarn, you know? Uh, so I just use it to get Doshins with, but I got four little Doshins and I had got them with the intention of using them in giveaways, but I actually really like a couple of them. So I might keep a couple of them. <laughs> so first I got two of these patches. I thought these were so cute. I wanted to do a Halloween giveaway, but again, I'm late to the, the game because it's already almost October. Maybe if I can get it going next week sometime. But it says, uh, skilled in the art of stitchcraft. I got two of those, and they're iron-on patches. So, um, I want to keep one. <laughs> and I'm, uh, like I said, I'm, I want to try, maybe I'll try to put one together next week sometime with like a Halloween-themed bag and this and maybe, um, some yarn or something. I don't know. I'll get to it. I'll figure it out in the next, but it is an iron on patch. So you just iron it onto a bag or a jacket or something. I have another one from them in my craft drawer that I actually got in a knit crate 
So I need to start putting them on something. I wish I had like a jean jacket I could start putting stuff on. I need to get one to do that. But I got those two. And I think they were like uh, $3 each or something like that. I can't remember. And then I got these stitch markers. They're called Land and Sea Stitch Markers by SunriseGrove.com. And they're like wooden ones. And I think it's where they use those lasers to uh, burn images into wood. But it's really pretty. It's like a tree, a, a wave, and mountains. So I probably will use these for a giveaway in the future. I just thought they were cute. And I had that money to spend. So I just went ahead and got stitch workers. Because <laughs> it would be good to give away item. And then the last thing I got. This was going to be a giveaway. But I actually fell in love with this. And I'm keeping it. <laughs> but it, it said on there there was a brooch. Um, a shop pin, I think. But it's it's not really a shop pin. It's just like a pin pin. Like a regular pin. Because shop pin, you know, is like something that holds a shawl together. Uh, this is just like one of those like a regular pen, but it's a butterfly wing. And in the picture, I thought it was going to be bigger, but it's still cute and all of it. And it's made out of wood, but you know, it's just a regular pen. Um, but I love it and I decided I'm going to keep it. <laughs> so I'm keeping that, but I do have the stitch markers for giveaway and the, um, patch. <laughs> so those will be in future giveaways. <laughs> but all right. So the last package I got is from Rosemary. And she sent me a nice note too, which I think I left in there on my desk. I didn't bring it in here, but it was just on a piece of paper. It wasn't a card, so I don't have to show you. But she sent me some fabric, and she said that she is downsizing. Um, so she thought I could use some of the stuff that she is downsizing, and she's 100% right, because I can always use fabric. And the, a lot of these are Christmassy prints. I'm going to dump it out here. Oh, her note is in here. I just saw it. <clears throat> so she wrote me this note, and it's it's got crochet every day on it. I thought that was cool. And now on the front it says, um, practice makes perfect. <laughs> I'm not going to share the notes. I always like to keep my notes private, but, um, uh, still anyways, her handwriting looks just like my grandmother's. When I, when I got the, uh, package and she, it has the part where it has my name and my address written on it for like a split second, I thought it was from my grandmother because <laughs> her handwriting looks exactly like my grandmother's. But anyways, Put that note over so I don't lose it. So she sent me a bunch of fabric bits. So first there's some fat quarters and some, there's a couple that are, well, they're all fat quarters except one. <laughs> this one is like a remnant. What size is it? Does it say the size on it? Uh, it's a fourth of a yard. So I guess it's, it's a, basically a fat quarter, but it's like uh, red and, I almost said polka dots, but it's squares. <laughs> polka squares. And then there's this one that's like another color red with polka dots on it. This one. That one. <laughs> I'll just, there's two of this one. Really pretty. And then there's these two orange ones. This polka dot one. Pretty flower print. And green. Till. Till. <laughs> and then there's some uh, of the square fat quarters. Really pretty orange one. <laughs> Brown. That one. <laughs> I don't know what that's called. A floral. And that one. This really pretty blue one. It reminds me of like dishes. <laughs> Those fancy dishes. And then there's this pink one. And then there's this red. This is like holly leaves or something. I can't tell. <laughs> And there's this really cool orange one. And this brown one. I think I actually have some just like this. From another box that I got a long time ago. Alright, and then these are like bigger pieces. So it's just really pretty uh, purple and white. Check. <laughs> I always forget what that's called. And then there's just a little. Some of these are like scrappy pieces. But I can still use them for notion pouches. Or uh, hook cases. I'm refilling this one. I messed it up. It's like a pretty floral print. It almost looks, it looks like something from the 90s. I like it a lot. <laughs> and then there's just really pretty um, fall. Like it's giving fall vibes. <laughs> of like harvest. So it's pumpkins. It looks like apples and grapes. Which are all fall crops. <laughs> and then there's this pretty white floral one. And then there's this piece. This is flannel. And it's uh, breast cancer. So that'll make a nice bag or two. It's a pretty big piece. And this was a pretty, this gives me like, it reminds me of like country cottage curtains or something. It's really pretty. 
I like it a lot. And there's just so this is a smaller piece, but I can still use this as a liner. It's got some sticker residue on it, but of a I like a notion pouch, so it's still usable. I can still use little pieces. <laughs> and this again is a small piece, but it's perfect size for like a hook uh, case. Really pretty purple with leaves. And here's a red scrap. And then here's a bigger piece of. Ooh, <laughs> it's not quite that bright, but it's a red. And then here's a Christmas tree print. This is a, this would be a pretty liner for like a Christmas print as well. This is like a plaid piece. Solid red, which again is always good for liners. These are two different shades of a red polka dot one. <laughs> and this right here, I have a ton of this already. Maybe she gifted it to me before. I don't remember because I've had it for years, multiple years, and I forget after a while. But I already have a huge piece of this exact same fabric. So now I have another one. And this is a pretty big piece. I mean, like, it's folded multiple times. This is probably a few yards. Um, so that's cool. Uh, so you'll probably be seeing this print as bags <laughs> in the Christmas updates. <laughs> and then there's this print, which I love because it looks vintage-y. I don't know if it is vintage. It could be. But it looks vintage. A really pretty vintage-y Christmas print. <laughs> I love it a lot. I love Christmas so much. And then there's this cute little print. Look at the puppies. And then after the puppies, there's kittens. Actually, I think there's puppies on there too. Yeah, there's dogs and cats on there. And then here's a, another piece of that one print that I couldn't tell. It looks kind of like, I don't know, it's like a flower. I can't tell. <laughs> it's something. And then here's this piece with snowflakes on it. Here's some more of that one print. <laughs> and then this print looks super familiar to me. I feel like I've had this one before too. And again, there's multiple, multiple pieces of this print, but it's poinsettias. Really pretty. And then there's a little, again, this is a, you know, like I can make a hook case out of this. It's like almost the perfect size for the way I cut them. And then there's a little piece of plaid, which would be a good liner for one of them. And then there's this really pretty print of like a winter scene. Is that up? Sorry. Yeah. Like a skating and the snowman and stuff, really pretty. It's, it's white and red. It's really nice. Ooh, this is like a velvety yarn. I bet she made like a uh, stocking out of that. I said yarn, I meant fabric. I wonder if she made a stocking out of that because it feels kind of like stocking. It's like a velvety fabric with a kind of corduroy feeling. Snowflakes. That would make something cool. I don't know why, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> the baby crying but De Devin's in there it's pretty print with little hearts it's so cute and dainty and then there's this cute print with stars and then this is a bigger piece this is pretty it's inside out <laughs> or it's backwards but it's uh red with like gold polka dots and it's just red on this one side it's folded on the outside <laughs> but that's really nice that'll be good for liners for christmas bags and then there's this cute little shamrock uh, piece. And there's this piece that Devin likes because he loves peppers. He loves growing them and eating them. All kinds of hot peppers. So it's got a bunch of peppers on it. And then there's this pretty yellow, which would be a great uh, liner for bags. And then the last piece is a big piece of a floral print. Is that upside down? That'll be so pretty. These will be bags next spring. <laughs> so pretty. But thank you so much, Rosemary, for that. I absolutely love getting fabric for two reasons. One, it's fun to get fabric scraps from people because you can kind of see what they crafted with and it's neat. And two, it's nice to get free fabric because it helps me make bags without me having to spend a lot of money on them because it does cost a lot of money to run like an Etsy shop. You have to put a lot of money into it to get anything out of it. And, you know, like I said, I got to order um, webbing. I got to order more snaps. I always got to buy thread. I'm constantly buying thread and drawstrings and liner fabrics because I get a lot of outer fabrics gifted to me which I appreciate so much but then I have to go back and buy liner fabrics I gotta buy the batting the fusing you know all it just it keeps going zippers <laughs> uh, lots of things plus uh all my time that gets put into making bags so it, it always appreciate it so much when I get fabric gifted to me because that takes one little thing away that I don't have to do you know I don't have to go 
purchase a bunch of fabric because I, I get some gifted to me that I can use up to make tons of bags. Like she sent me just this random box of scraps and out of this random box of scraps I can make a bunch of bags and it's cool. And I especially like getting like this because I already have so many Christmas prints but this would be a perfect liner because it's beautiful. It's the red, it's the Christmassy red with little gold dots. So I already know I have a bunch of outer fabrics in my stash <laughs> and in this box even that she gifted me. That would go good with this as a liner. But I'm excited to make the Christmas bags. I can't wait to uh, get in there and start cutting up Christmas fabric. And I thought it was so funny that I got another big hunk of this fabric. But I already have a big hunk. I've made some bags, I think the last two years with it. I've been, you know, it's been stretching out. Because I try not to make too many bags with the same print. You know, I try to make them different. And uh, the piece that I got was huge. I'm pretty sure it's the same print. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just similar. I'll have to go in there and dig around and see. But I'm pretty sure it is. But, uh, yeah, so I'm super excited to rip into these and get Christmas bags pumping out. But I'm going to wait till the end of October. So there'll be probably two or three more updates. That's just regular bags and fall bags. And then Christmas. Oh, and winter. Because there's a lot of winter themed ones, too. And then random ones, too. I don't know. We'll make whatever we make, I guess. <laughs> but uh, if that's all the happy I have to share with you. Now i got to pick it all up. <laughs> but thank you all so much to Rosemary and to Erica and to Nick Crate. <laughs> And to Jen, because I got her card. I can't wait to rip into her package starting on Saturday, which is October 1st. And I'm doing Vlogtober. So you guys get to rip into them with me. <laughs> I'm super excited to uh, see what's all in there and to use the scrap balls. Well, I think I'm going to do actually with the yarn is, you know, last year I made the spider web square blanket as part of a crochet along called Cra Craftober. With uh, Stitching Ain't Easy, I'm pretty sure. And also, it was Medic Mama Musing. And we all made, like, this blanket that started with a square, and then we went out from there. I think I'm actually going to use my scraps from this year to make that blanket bigger. Because it's, it's kind of small. It came out, like, a, a little bit bigger than a baby blanket. So, I think I might go ahead and add my scraps this year to it. And then maybe keep doing that every year. <laughs> if me and Jane keep doing this, which I'm totally fine with doing swaps every year. Um... And just making it bigger and bigger and eventually have a big, you know, actual blanket and I'll just throw. I think that'd be pretty cool. So, I went back yesterday, last night, when I was getting June to sleep. <laughs> I was sitting there on my phone while rocking her. And, um, I went back to my old video last year to figure out what hook I used. I couldn't remember. But I used the eye hook. So, uh, because I've seen it in one of my videos where I'm, like, playing music and I'm doing stuff, you know. I was still pregnant. And, um, I was using my eye hook. My Susan Bates eye soft grip <laughs> so i was like all right so now i know what hook i use i can just pick it up and start back because all i did was double crochets uh it was just solid double crochet rounds so it'd be easy to just hop back in and start working on it again so i think that's what i'm gonna do with my scraps this year but anyways i'm gonna hop off here i've been talking i've been in here for like an hour <laughs> filming different videos so Devin's probably waiting for me to come back out <laughs> but i'm gonna hop off here and get two of them edited up for you to see wednesday this one you're gonna see thursday and then Friday, I don't know when I do Friday, <laughs> but Saturday starts of October, so I'm so excited. And we already got some October plans coming up, so I'm just looking forward to the holiday season with my family. And we got one extra one this year, June, so it's so exciting to do stuff with her. But I'm going to hop off here, and I'll see you guys in the video. Bye, guys.